with our help, doubling, tripling the votes, we can be victorious. And ladies and gentlemen, we have to do it. We have to uh, let somebody go that has been in office for 27 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Blake Farenthal. Thank y'all very much. And James and Willie and Jessica, could y'all all, all three come up here and join me for a second? Because I think we are the, the team that has got the message out that 27 years of Solomon Ortiz is too much. through a Republican primary that everybody called a, a, a tough fight. You know what? It was a family squabble because the four of us here probably agree on 95% of the issues. But when it comes to agreeing on the issues with Solomon Ortiz, we may agree with him on only about 10. So it, whichever one of us you supported, thank you. You became involved in the process. The Republican turnout in this district was higher than it's ever been in a primary. And I tell you, that's a shot across the bow of Solomon Ortiz. And, you know, whoever, you know, we're, I'm going to be in there, I think, when we win the election in November. But we've got to deal with from now until November. If Solomon Ortiz knows we're coming, maybe he'll behave till we can get him out of office. I doubt it, but we're going to give it a try. And these guys helped me send this message. We ran a great campaign, and I want to thank them for their patriotism and their commitment and all that they have done for the people of District 27. Thank you, guys. I'm going to keep this short. I'm taking a lesson from Todd Hunter. The, the shorter you, the shorter amount of time you speak, the uh, less voters you lose. <laughs> I think I've got a pretty friendly crowd here. I got into this race talking about less government and less taxes, and I suspect that's the reason a lot of you got into the Tea Party. Well, I was driving home from being on the radio with Jim Lago on Friday listening to Glenn Beck, and I'm not too proud to take advice from somebody who makes $37 million a year like Glenn Beck. What he said on the radio is, we've got to refine our message into something positive. And I'm thinking less taxes, uh, and Glenn was saying, and I'm agreeing with him, less taxes means bigger paychecks, all right? And less government means more freedom. So I'm for more freedom and bigger paychecks. How does that sound? I'm going to steal that from Glenn Beck. We've got a tough row to hoe ahead of us. We've got an entrenched incumbent with 27 years. He's already started buying votes. I don't know how many of you follow Mr. Ortiz on Facebook or on the Internet or in the news. I've got a Google alert that tells me every time something uh, is written about him. I follow him on Facebook. I know what he's up to. He's already started buying votes. Just yesterday, he had a press release out saying he got $500,000 for Texas A&M Kingsville. You know, this is not about how much pork money you can get down here to buy votes. This is about doing what's best for the country. And what's best for the country is bigger paychecks and more freedom. Yeah! We're in the Tea Parties right now, and I tell you, one of the politics as usual tricks the Democrats and the incumbents in Washington like to use is they demonize somebody or something when they become threatened by it. And that's what they're trying to do with the Tea Parties. They're trying to call us racist. They're trying to call us haters. They're trying to call us gun-toting, Bible-beating. And you know what? I like gun-toting and Bible-beating, but I don't like racists. They're trying to demonize us, and we cannot let them demonize us. We are, as they were saying earlier, the salt of the earth. We are the taxpayers. We are the hardworking people who believe that the way to get successful in this life is to work hard for it. And I love the t-shirt. Bring the, is the t-shirt still there? If y'all didn't read the t-shirt, I want to read the t-shirt. It's got a quote from Thomas Jefferson on it. And this is what we need to remember. It says, a government big enough to give you everything you want is strong enough to take everything you have. And we cannot let that happen. Yeah. 
Anyway, I, I'm going to I'm going to uh, hand over the stage after uh, I say thank you very much. I'm going to ask for your help. It's about talking to your friends. Our values are the values of most people. The media has conned a lot of people into believing that the values of big government and being taken care of are are good. It's not. And you need to talk to your friends and you need to remind them that bigger paychecks and more freedom are what we want. And that's how we'll win in November. Thank you and God bless you.